unatazama taarifa za KTN leo karibu tena. Hali ya uchukuzi inatarajiwa kuathirika jijini Nairobi hapo kesho wakati ambapo mfalme Charles wa tatu atakapokuwa nchini kwa ziara yake ya siku nne. Barabara kuu za kuingia mjini zikiwemo barabara ambazo msafara wa mfalme huyo utapitia zitaathirika kwa siku hizo mbili mfalme Charles atakapokuwa jijini Nairobi. Kama anavyoarifu Emmanuel Oto mfalme huyo anatarajiwa kufika nchini usiku wa leo anakumbwa na shinikizo la ufalme huo kuwapa dia waliouawa wakati wa utawala wa wakoloni ambazo zinazidi kushika kasi Baada ya maandalizi kabambe hatimaye jiji kula Nairobi liko tayari kwa safari ya mfalme Charles wa tatu na mkewe Malkia Kamila kupitia kwa mtandao wao wa ex familia hiyo ya kifalme ilitangaza kwamba wako njiani kwa ziara hiyo duruzi kiarifu kuwa watatua katika uwanja wa ndege wa JKIA usiku wa Jumatatu Gavana wa kaunti ya Nairobi Johnson Sakaja akisema kaunti ya Nairobi ii tayari kwa ziara hiyo as Nairobi we ready and happy um, to host him Nairobi has a long history um, with the monarchy Nairobi was the first commonwealth city to get a charter and uh, before any other commonwealth city in the world and uh, you know it's an honor for Nairobi again to be the first commonwealth destination that uh, the king of england visits after his coronation as king sakaja aidha naongeza kwamba baadhi ya shughuli zitaathirika katikati mwa jiji zikiwemo uchukuzi katika barabara za uhuru highway kenyatta avenue processional way langata road wayaki way jogoro na kiambu road um, and you will see a lot of elements of nairobi culture including part of the convoy being uh, matatus you know and part of the vehicles having been you know showcasing the nairobi culture with the graffiti on them which is part of what we're doing and so we, we, we expect minimal disruptions we'll be announcing in case there is anything but the program has been farmed up uh, over time atakapofika nchini shughuli ya kwanza ya mfalme huyu itakuwa katika ikulu ya Nairobi akiandaa mkutano na rais William Ruto na baadaye kutembelea uwanja wa Uhuru Gardens atakapotoa heshima zake katika eneo ambalo bendera ya Kenya ilipeperushwa kwa mara ya kwanza mwaka tatu Kenya ilipojinyakulia uhuru haya najiri huku shinikizo kutaka mfalme huyo kuwapa fidia waliopigania uhuru na kuuawa haswa muda wa taharuki kati ya mwaka mbili hadi mwaka sitini zikiendelea kushika kasi wazee wa jamii ya kikuyu wakiongeza sauti zao the list we expect from the king when he visits camp langata is an apology to the people of kenya and to the kikuyu we highly suspect that the colonialists never buried kimathi in committee and that is why all this time the body has been missing Shinikizo hilo pia limetiwa mkazo na baadhi ya makundi ya kijamii kiwemo jamii ya Ma, Kalenjin pamoja na tume ya kutetea haki za binadamu ikiingilia kati mjadala huo. Emmanuel Toe, KT News, Nairobi.